What's going on guys, Victor here, and I'm with my buddy, Brando. We're trying to get on that Jack Ryan again, the attack of the Jacks. Last time we were on the north side of the jetty, this time we're trying to get on the south side. This whole area is just not very fisherman friendly. There's like no public parking, so guess what? We're Ubering to the fishing spot. In the Uber we go. You don't mind the rods, do you? Nah, man, it's cool, man. Okay. We'll put them in there. We put them into the back, though. I'll slide them into the back. Right? Okay. Our Uber driver loves fishing. Yeah, man. Land truck? Land shark fishing. All right. Land shark fishing. That's Land my shark. YouTube that's, channel. That's your YouTube channel? Yeah. I'm going to look it up. Man. Yeah, you'll be in that's the video. Cool. All right, man. Put me on. All that's right. cool. Man. I get permission, all right? Shout out. Oh, he gives us permission. Shout out to Michael. The Jack Express. All right. I'm going to look it up. How you got to market yourself? Just like that. Everywhere you go, just talk to people. So I hope you guys get the big ones, man. Thank you, man. Right. I appreciate Have it. A good one, man. All right. You guys, Brando and I just rolled up to the beach. We were looking for the South Jetty and we see the freaking massive Megapod all the way out there. My heart is racing about a million miles per hour right now. And uh, I had a popper on, but no way I'm gonna reach them. They're pretty far out there. So that's when you put on something heavy, like a diamond jig that doesn't have a lot of resistance. And yeah, yep. Man, they are out, almost lost that. Their school is like just out of casting range, but it is a freaking giant school. All right, I'm switching to the uh, popper because I'm not getting any luck on the diamond jig, even though, man, we saw that massive school. I thought for sure we were gonna hook up, but they were just out of range. Good, but... You see, last time, the last jack video you guys saw was on the other side, the north side of the inlet. The site is very inaccessible to fishermen. But it's proven to be good. It's what everyone says, at least. I don't know if you guys just saw me almost slip, but look straight down. This is like all algae moss death trap out here. One slip and you're done. I see the school. I see the school. I see the school. But they're just moving so sluggishly and slow. They're literally just hugging this north tip, but it doesn't look like they want to eat. Oh, I got one! I got one! Yeah! They do eat! They do eat! Yes! Yes! Now the problem is I got to get them either to the left or right hand side to land them. Otherwise, I'm dying. Okay, how am I going to do this, Nick? How am I going to do this? I'll go down there. No, don't go down there. Dude, I ain't scared. Dude, there's a... That was a little ridiculous for this size, Jack. Sorry. <laughs> Screw it. Here. Bring your leader right here. Hold on. <laughs> Gotta use the waves with us. Wives? Um, This guy's only hooked with one hook, so I don't think so. All right. No. Oh, oh my gosh! Brando! Right there! Right there! Right there! Man, they love hugging that jetty. It's like they wait for whatever it is to come by close to the jetty and then they eat it. Oh, it's a cuda. It was a cuda. I just spit the hook. Oh yeah, he did work on this popper. That was a cuda. Right around 15 pounds. Do you have a long leader that I could grab onto? Huh? No. No. Leader. Right there, still. Let me grab. Oh, right there at the mouth of the inlet. On the diamond jig. Oh boy, this is not gonna be good. Yeah, come in here. Yeah, this isn't the best situation, I'd say. Shout out to Morning Tide Fishing. If you guys know who those guys are, crazy guys, other side of the world. They do a lot of this stuff. Rock. Woo! 
All right, I'm not hooking them up here anymore. I'm, I'm, this is just stupid. <laughs> Dangerous. And now you guys see why I'm fishing 80 pound leader. You absolutely do not need 80 pound for jacks. They don't have rough abras abrasive mouths, but when you're fishing in situations like this and you don't have a boat or a kayak to chase them down, kind of got to do what you got to do. Oh, there we go. That feels like a cuda. That does not feel like a jack. I don't even, I hope he actually gets unhooked. We don't even want him this small. Grab you by the buttons right here. He's a little bit too small for what we want to do. So off you go. Look, we're looking for those 25, 30 pound, 40 pound jacks, but so far nothing. Again, I think it's little ones trying to, whoa. Oh, that might not be a little one. Come on, keep running, keep running. Be a big one. Please be a big one. There you go. We're unhooked. Thank you. Go get it. Oh, right there! Not a giant again. So they did move on the inside. That was the first two hits we got on the inside. As soon as you get their head out of the water though, they're done. That's why we tie those long leaders so Brando can, one of us can grab it. And uh, tie a long leader and it prevents you from also getting broken off on the rocks a lot of the time a lot of the time you still lose them but better to tie a good like four foot long leader definitely don't need the surf rod out here anymore not on a day like today but there are days where they're out further oh man this guy's got all sorts of hooks in him Casting it right in the school, in their face. And they don't care. I think the full moon has something to do with it. Every fish acts funny around a full moon. Usually jacks don't care, they just eat everything up. There we go! All right guys, so the bite is pretty much over and let me show you our little haul of shark bait over here. We got four Jack Carvels. They're like right around 12 pound baits, all good solid one baiters. And um, I have not had that much experience with poppers in my life. I did a little bit of popper fishing up in the Northeast this fall with the stripers. And you guys, if you've never gotten on a hot popper bite, oh my gosh, let me tell you something. something it is some of the most exciting stuff because it's visual, you know, they're coming up top, they're smacking it. Oh well, guys, these are little jacks. I mean, there are plenty out there in that 40, 45, 50 pound range. And we saw them as we were walking up on the beach and there was just giant schools. But when we got on the jetty, they were just not here. And the jacks were acting real slow and sluggish. You guys heard me say that. But I do want to say something though. I never thought that poppers were one of those things that were that effective, but oh my gosh, let me tell you something. Try them, they freaking work. So if you guys have never tried popper fishing, check out the poppers in the description box below. They are the best deal I could find. They're tsunami poppers. Those are the poppers that I fished in the Northeast. They're very popular up there. Not so much down here because we don't have that much of a fishery, but check them out. Thank you guys for watching as always and look forward to shark fishing coming very soon. The freezer is getting loaded up. The winds are supposed to calm down next week and we're going to get tight out there on the beach. See you guys. Do you feel the